what we're looking at now in this video is the second travel mug. And what I'm going to look at today is making the body of this second travel mug here, which is a stainless steel body. Now, there's a separate piece here at the bottom, which I won't be making in today's video. I was looking at the main body down here, and I'll be putting the, the pink and blue dots on the outside of that at a later stage. Okay, so this is for the second travel mug. So we're going to SolidWorks. Uh, your screen, when you open up SolidWorks, it looks something like this. You go to File, you go to New, you click Part, you click OK. And your screen will change to something very similar to this. First thing before we start, make sure that everything is set to millimeters. So we go to the right hand side, you might have MMGS here or IPS or it might say something. Just click this button here in the bottom right hand corner, make sure it's in MMGS. And you'll have to do that for every part that you make on SolidWorks. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to go to the front plane, going to right click front plane, going to click this very first button here which is sketch. What will happen is the plane will turn flat in front of you. I'm then going to go to line. I'm going to start in the origin. I'm going to draw a line to the left and make sure it's horizontal. So you'll see this little yellow symbol will appear beside your mouse as you're going to the left. Just draw a flat line out there any direction you like. Click once. And then draw an angled line, not a vertical line. Make sure it's at an angle like this, heading out to the left as well. And click again. And when you have that done, push escape. So what I'm doing is I'm basically drawing half the mug and I'm going to revolve it then to make up the full chamber. Now we go to Smart Dimension. I want the first line, which is the horizontal line. Just click it anywhere you like, drag down the number, click again to drop the number. A box will appear. And what I want you to type in there for that distance will be 35, 3, 5, and click the green tick. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the angle that this um, cup is at. Now, the angle is very, very slight on these. Looks to only be maybe about 10 degrees. So we're going to take the angle from here. So click that line anywhere you like. Then bring your mouse over. Ignore the number that's stuck to it. Click this line anywhere you like. Make sure you click the line somewhere in the middle. It should turn orange. And I need this angle here to be a little bit more than 90, but less than 100, it has to be 95 degrees. So type in 95. So it nearly looks straight, but it's not. At a slight angle at 95 degrees. Then click this dot here on top, click this bottom line here, and we're trying to get a vertical height. So make sure your number appears vertical like what's happening for me. And again, you can click that there and drop it anywhere you want. It doesn't matter where you put it. Once it's out to one side, and the vertical height of this these mug is 178, sorry, a little bit less. So it is 100 and, let me see, 178 minus 15, which a better measurement actually won't be that. We'll just do 161. So change that number to 161 and then push the green tick. And now your line has gone too far. For it to fit in your screen, just push F for fit. And you'll be able to see it on your screen when you push the letter F. If you can't see it, if you push the letter F, you will be able to see it. And then click the green tick. Now, the next thing you have to do is to put a thickness onto this, okay? So that we can revolve a thickness all around. And there's kind of a lip in this where it changes shape to give it more depth to have, would say, this kind of an oxygen, or we can have this gas around the outside that keeps the liquid inside warm. So this is gonna take a little bit of drawing to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Offset Entities, just up here in the top bar. And we're gonna click this line anywhere we like. And we're not going to have it 10 millimeters. The offset, so I need to get my verniers here so the offset all together is 
is going to be five millimeters. So I'll change that 10 to five and push the green tick. Let upload and then click the green tick again. Now that's good, but there's a small little bit of a change that has to happen up here. So I'm going to go to the line again. I'm going to just draw a flat line across for a small distance, but it's not going to join to the other side. It's kind of halfway. I then come straight down and I come horizontal across. So that step is very important. And then I push escape on my keyboard to stop long lines. I go to trim. I make sure power trim is on and this angled line here, I'm going to delete off of it. I then go to smart dimension. The top line there, its thickness altogether has to be two. So I change it from whatever it is to two. And this distance here, I change it from whatever it is, it also has to be at two. Oh, sorry about that. So it's like going upside down, that's incorrect. So I'm just gonna click the undo button, that shouldn't be like that. So I'm gonna check the measurement again here on it. Sorry, it has to be three, so we'll try three. So I'm gonna double click that number that's wrong, change it to three. Click the green tick, still wrong, sorry about that, click undo again, it must also be two. No, so then it must be four, okay we'll get it yet, yeah it's four, sorry about that, so it's four millimeters, that's the measurement. Then I go to sketch finish. I make sure that I change that 10 on the left hand side to one. I click this edge here. I click this edge down here. I click this edge here. And down in the bottom then, I click this little edge here, little corner. And I click the green tick. I then click the green tick again. I then go to straight line and I'm going to join. So I click line going to click the bottom and the top together with a little short straight line and push escape on my keyboard. And then go back to sketch fillet and there is a tiny fillet down here, okay? So I'm clicking sketch fillet and I want to fill it down here of 0 0.1. It's very, very small, just on that corner there. So I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to click that corner there now, sorry, to pick up the wrong one here, so just delete them out. So just want to click that corner there, that dot, a little tiny little fillet will appear, click the green tick. That's important for later on when it comes to me putting the pattern on it. So I need that line on it. Now, when we have all that done, I click the green tick again. I go features. I'm going to go to revolved boss space. And I click this box here and I zoom in and I'm going to click this little line here. And what you'll see is that the whole chamber then builds itself in front of you in one go. And when you have that, you click the green tick. And now you have the main chamber of that mug made. So that's exactly how that mug looks. So when I say that mug, I mean that's exactly how this without the lid looks like on the inside. Okay, and that's your first video made. So we're just gonna save that now. I go File, Save As. And I'm going to call that uh, Travel Mug, or so Part 2, Travel Mug 2, Main Body. And I click Save. So I'm going to save it to the desktop. That's very important at this point that not only do you save it to the desktop, but you also save it onto a USB key or you can email it to yourself. Whatever you have to do to back up your files to keep them safe. And we'll click save. And that's the end of video number one. Thanks very much.